I'm going to cut the base first and then I'm going to cut the layers in all in one section. I'll bring your hair down. Kind of a key thing is body position. When I'm standing behind the mannequin, I really wanna make sure that this parting here and my shoulders here are parallel. I keep my eyes level to my section and then I hold the hair and I'll come through here and I'll cut my line just like that. And what I'll have my client do is actually tilt her head forward. All right, so I'm gonna comb this up. We want this to be the air cut, right? So airy is the uh, goal. So I wanna come in here and as I start cutting, I'm gonna point cut, right? And I'm gonna slide my hand up as I point cut. Start about mid shaft here and I just start cutting in and I slide my hand as I cut. Once I have those airy layers in the haircut, I'll recomb. See all that hair flying everywhere? And then I'll create a line about where I want that hair to be. So I'll decide the length that I want the top layer to be, which is about there. And then I'll drop that hair down. And now I've got a ton of layers popping through the haircut. And they're airy because they're not just uniform layers that we cut in there. So I got this hair. Now the key of this part of the cut is to get the hair over top of the parting, wherever they're parting the hair. If it's a side parting, then you could go over top of the side parting. If it's a center parting, you go over top of the center. Not here. See my hand go right over top right there of the section. Finger angle, if I come straight up like this and I have this kind of a line in the haircut, Hair on this little front part right here that curves a little bit ends up being longer than the rest of the hair in this section. The shortest piece of this section is right back here. And I don't want the shortest piece back there. I want them all to be uniform length or even have a little bit more extra length in the back end of this. I'm gonna go a little more extreme on how I angle over top of the parting. I angle a little extra on the forehead. Same concept, point cut and slide. So I'm sliding out and then I'll recomb and I'll draw a line with point. Cut. Then the final bit for the length, I might even grab a little bit of a guide, pull this all to the middle as I can see it. So now I got a little extra length here on the sides. So I'll just comb it out and trim the length. FSE, precision scissor, been using it the whole time. I honestly would even just kind of air dry it. Oh, why wouldn't we? It's the air cut. Paul Mitchell twirl around, two products in one, gel cream.